Hello, it's November 2023, and I'd just like to do a real quick brief update on uh, myself personally. I know a lot of people are interested about my health and what's going on and everything else. So, this has been a very heavy week, um, some very unexpected news, and uh, I'm just really exhausted right now. So, this week uh, I was in the hospital uh, dealing with. Um, I guess you could say parts of my digestive system that are not working and so forth and uh, all they can do for me is uh, through IV uh, pain management and liquids and whatever so I was doing that and I had uh, an appointment with another doctor so the one morning I had uh, said listen you know I want to have this meeting with this other doctor so the doctor that was at the hospital in charge of me said well you can stay you know or I can go but to come back uh, especially if if everything is um, still where it was I'm just gonna stop here for a moment real quick uh, this particular organ um, there's not much that could be done with this uh, the results, lab work, and everything else um, didn't show anything, but definitely there were the symptoms there, and they had me again with the IV, uh, everything else. And um, without this particular organ, well, it's pretty grim. I'm just trying to soften this here. And I actually had a talk with a really good a buddy of mine, um, I'll say back home, my province of origin, and you know we had this talk, and uh, you know it is what it is. You know, um, haven't been as a joke, lucky enough to stay dead throughout my life. So you know, but you know there's specialists and everyone. I guess everyone's talking and going to be figuring all this out. So anyway. I uh, don't want to paint this to be doom and gloom. You have to always be positive. I've always said that, right? And I've talked to people online who have the same or similar type of uh, internal problems that I do and uh, can be extremely bad, fatal even. So, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, anyway, I left uh, the hospital one morning and I had a few hours that I could rest it up properly and then go see my doctor and then go back. Well, what ended up happening was um, as I was getting ready, I uh, fell and really hurt my uh, hands and wrists uh, more than what I realized. I just had to really hurt them bad. So I made it to see my doctor that I was going to see, he looks at them and he's like, that's broken, that one's broken, so didn't expect to hear that. And, um, you know, I prescribed some stuff for pain. So anyway, I ended up going to the hospital again and uh, they were checking my, uh, my wrists and they came back saying, yep. Yeah, they both have fractures and one of them is broken so that's why I have this and I have a piece of plastic just so I don't mess up my uh, my coat so it looks like I'm gonna have to have surgery on that I wasn't expecting to hear that so I ended up uh, telling them I have to see the eye surgeon and uh, don't want to miss that because you know getting dates nowadays to see any doctor is really hard so uh, we got discharged and uh, I was just so worn out so baked and 
the eye surgeon's office was so nice and accommodating. As I said, listen, I had a rough week and then the cast was still fresh. They we put it in a bag and uh, they said, yeah, okay, we'll reschedule you and, you know, try to get you in sooner than, than later. So just a big thank you to them. The, my hands and wrists uh, and my forearms even are become very fragile since the injuries of uh, May 4th, 2013 by, if I say human garbage, that's going to be me speaking out of frustration. So the, um, my hands, wrists and everything are shrinking. There's, um, what is it called? Conductivity issues. My right hand is about 50% to my left hand. My left hand has also been compromised with the same thing. So, and because there's the fluids and, and the, the veins and everything, they're not working well. And, and there's issues with um, drainage, your body's drain, you know, different parts. Uh, my bones and everything over the years have become smaller and brittle. And so now, here's an example, I have a, a good fall and things happen. So anyway, I'm, I'm rambling a lot more than I really wanted to, to get into, but just wanted to uh, let everyone know where I'm at right now. And um, yeah, so anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. I hear people saying to me, oh, when is it going to get easier? When you die.